Hi everyone, so I am in the home of Renee and her channel is Little Village Homestead. We're in her awesome pantry and this is Renee. Hey friends, and my friends are over there. This is Renee from Little Village Homestead and my guest is Angie from Angie's Pantry. Hi everyone, so nice to meet you. I had a blast here today. Oh, we've had fun. We went out, did some morale hunting, so much money. Well, we hit the mother load, you know, we only found five. I found one. <laughs> I found two. I was I was geek. That's the first morale I found in years. I think it's going to be better because Angie's planning on coming up maybe maybe next weekend. I'm hoping next It'll weekend I can come up with my daughter. It really was kind of goofy this year because of, we. it's like we went from winter to summer. Yeah. Well, and we had I'm not moving around spring. that great, so I, I could only do just so much, and by the second time, I was ready to go home. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, I have a couple questions for you that my peeps want to know. Okay. They want to know, what do you like to do for short-term and long-term storage in your pantry? Okay, mostly... I have to be honest, I don't have a whole lot of, now I could do a lot of my dehydrated stuff for the long term. I would say yeah, for sure. But but right now, I and a lot of these are sealed. You know, a lot of right. these are sealed, but like the carrots and stuff, a lot With of them I use regular. Food saver sealer, yep, you put I've, the little thing on there, yep, I'll, show, out. Yep, yeah. I'll show you right here, I got oh, it's Just like my pantry, I'm just saying. It is Look at them here. She's, it's just, a, I love it. I love yep, it. I use these. I got a large oh, mouth. That, that's what I yep, have too. And a small mouth. And then you hook it to your sealer. The only thing, yep. suck the air right and out. The only thing I don't do is I don't put a oxygen absorber because I don't store anything right now for 30 years. Right. I use a lot of my stuff. Yeah. And eventually I will get into that. But right now it's pretty much, my stuff is stored up maybe five years at a time. Now see, I, even though mine is short term and long term, uh, we found out that we dehydrate about the same and can about the same. Yeah, I do a lot of canning. Yeah. I but, do a lot um, of canning. I got those <coughs> smaller auctionators on uh, Amazon.com and there was like 500 of them for under 10 bucks. And I just stick one in there in my jar, big jars, little jars, it doesn't matter, whatever dehydrated foods I got. Mm -hmm and do the vacuum seal. That way, if I don't get to it for, you know, four years, five years, it's you ever, got that moisture out of it. Do there. you ever do the Mylar bags? Uh, I've tried Mylar. <laughs> I've never tried them. Yeah. I don't like them, and they break. They break? Yeah, I, I, I can't remember what I had in there. Anyways, I tried to, you know, seal it, and I used the flat iron, you know, that, like you're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. So you could do, could you, do long-term storage in a jar like this? It, to my acknowledgement, the longest uh, dehydrated food that you do without an oxygenator is up to two to three years. With an oxygenator, I believe is up to five to 10. Okay. And I that's, bet my that's stuff putting the oxygenator in there and sealing it, you know, sucking the air out. I bet all my dehydrated stuff probably rotates completely every three years. Wow, that's and, um, awesome. Yeah, so I use a lot of it. And I guess if I, you know, to do for long term, the first thing I would do is I would do the rice and the pasta and stuff like that. If, you know. And, and here's what I say. You know, people always ask me, what do, why, what do I stock in my pantry? And I'm like, well, what do you eat? Well, don't, I, I got to put beans up. I got to put rice up. Well, we don't eat rice. No, so you must. So store it. why put rice up if you don't eat rice? And you think when the time's up that you're going to eat that rice? Probably not, or probably because you're starving to death. But but you want to know something? I'll give you a little hint. If you don't eat rice, but you say you get a 25 pound bag of it on a crazy sale or mm -hmm. even free, you can use that for barter because somebody yeah. like me who eats a lot of rice, I could say, hey, Angie. I can trade you some of this stuff yep. or some of that stuff. You Which know. is an awesome idea. I awesome. didn't think of that. Idea. Yeah. That's, now, I do have I've stuff got that the I beans that I've done up, like how you got here. I got the dry beans, but um, right now they're in bags. <laughs> but I did some canning of them. I'm not too fond of some techniques of canning beans. 
Are you? I mean, how do you do it? There's, I do mine, I don't soak them overnight. I just, like my, like my example, my baked beans. You see how nice they're packed, but they're not you packed ridiculous. The one in my purse. <laughs> you can take it, they're good. Anyway, um, I just, I do it a real simple way. I don't soak my beans overnight. I do rinse them and wash them yep. and, you know, pick out the bad ones. And then like a, a jar like this, I might put a third of a cup of beans in it and then put all my stuff in with it. You know, my, my sauce and everything, right. and, beans, and then can them that way. And that's pressure canning beans. Oh, right? yeah. Yep. You, and you have to pressure can beans just like meat. Yep. 75 minutes for pints and 90 minutes for quarts because it's just like meat. Yep. Because it's so dense. Yeah. Uh, now, now, there is a certain kind of bean that um, I bought. It I thought it was a, a, a kidney bean, but it wasn't. It was a... Kennel bean? A penal bean, I thought it was, but it wasn't. It's called, uh, gosh, I can't think of the name. Anyways, it looks just like it. So I did um, how Linda from Linda's Pantry showed me, uh -huh. where you put the beans in the jar, you let them sit overnight, and you rinse them out, right? They turned in a mush. <laughs> so it's uh, refried beans for those. Yeah. But uh, And I am not a big person on black beans, are you? I, I love beans. All any beans? Kind of, yeah, I do. Northern beans, kidney beans, um, you know, like your chili bean stuff. I like. Mm -hmm. I but, like all beans. Yeah, beans I are like, good. They're I so like healthy. Black eyed peas, I love them. Now, see, I don't mind. When I was younger, we had black eyed peas, but I don't remember. You know, I don't think I've ever cooked them. Oh, they're good. Um, okay, <coughs> that was our first question. Oh, wait a minute. There's more to that. Oh, this is, does got long term storage. <laughs> I do got long term storage, Angie. I'll show you guys. She just brought me this, and it is a huge two-pound, five-ounce, number 10 can of dry, dehydrated vegetable stew mix. Be vegetable stew blend. Now, it's not freeze-dried. No, it's, it's dehydrated. dehydrated. And right here, it tells you the ingredients that's in it. There's no chemicals. It's just the potatoes or whatever is in yeah. it. Yeah. Do you see that? Um, ingredients. I found it on... Oh, this is just a, this is a thing for a mountain man stew. It's got a recipe on the back here, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. A stew blend is a nutritious combination of potato dices, cab, cabbage flakes, chopped onion, carrot dice, celery slices, and red and green peppers, dehydrated and mixed for use in any super stew. You could use these in casseroles too, friends. Oh yeah, it does. It isn't just for soups and stews. No, and you know how they say refresh it and stuff. It's dehydrated. Yeah. You can throw it. I throw it in my pizza doughs and everything. Not this blend. I just found that for twelve ninety seven for a uh, number ten can. That's a lot. That's cheap. Yes. For this and then because uh, you try to get that, you can't get this at Thrive. Yeah. No, because you Walmart. can just buy this. Walmart dot com, and that's the only way you can buy it is through Walmart dot com. Yeah, you could buy this and just set this in the back of your storage, yeah. and you got it. Yeah, I use it. I am um, now my uh, red and green peppers. It's a blend through Thrive that I got. I'm now going to be switching over to the artisan with that because that too is only twelve dollars and something there where I paid for a number ten can almost three times. No, you got this where? Walmart.com. Walmart I'll write that down in the bottom of my description box yeah. too, so they can go and anything check over it out. fifty dollars or more, it's free, and that's shipped in the USA. Free shipping for fifty dollars or more. That's a And well, let me tell you, almost, if you sprout your own bread, I sprout my own bread, but I also make regular bread, but I buy my wheat berries through Walmart.com. I got a 26-pound bucket of red wheat berries, which that's your whole wheat, for, um, I think it was $19 and some odd cents. How, how much? 26 pounds. Oh my goodness. The white berries is cheaper, and I think I spent $15 on that. So you buy those two buckets and this, there's your, you know. Don't you have a video doing your sprouted breast? Yeah, I and I tried to do another one because I, I showed you how I made my, um, my whole wheat sprouted bread, where I use the white, and I mix mine together. I'll take, like, so okay, for every wheat berry, the dry, it makes one and a half cups of flour. Okay. So, 
if your recipe calls for eight cups, you know, you're going to need, yeah. you know, that's how you figure that out. So, um, with the wheat flour, I do suggest that you do use the white in with the rag because it just makes it where it's more, not such a heavy, dense loaf. Right. But I, I put in raisins and, uh, that I grind up. I, you know, refresh them. Oh, man. And uh, figs. Oh, that'd be I awesome. I refreshed my raisins the last time in uh, Marcella wine. And I used the raisin, the juice from that, into the um, bread itself. It was like butter. I bet. It was so good. Even my husband liked it. I was shocked. <laughs> I bet. Well, I got long-term storage, but I promise you this won't last long-term yeah. I'll, no. I'll be using this. Yeah, I definitely We may it. even open it and check it out on the inside. But to answer that first question about stocking, you know, stocking your pantry and that, I don't, I don't do long, long-term, not yet, mm -hmm. not long-term storage yet, but I do a lot of my canning. And at, when I do my shopping now, mm -hmm. it's the only things I get is what's on sale. Right. And I get a, a lot of it. So my pantry is constantly being stocked, but I'm, it's a very healthy working pantry. It's a, yeah, it's so, your short term pantry. It's, yeah. It means that you, you, that's what you're doing. Yeah. But that's see, if, when I, when I am ready for, you know, and make room for long term storage, I'll be ready for it. And oh yeah, we'll do videos on that. Yeah. Because and this, and I can hook you up, girl, this then. is perfect, friends. Check this out. Yeah, it's I'll wonderful. put the link in the bottom of my description so you can check that out. They've got, um, they don't got a whole lot for say, like how Thrive is, but they've got stuff, you know, um, like their grapes is comparable to Thrive, only like three dollars off, but some stuff is really cheap, and the that's when good. you're gonna stock up when you can get a, a number 10 can of. What is there, six different vegetables in here? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That's huge. To huge. buy six different pantry cans, or, or number 10 cans, I'm sorry, of the same vegetables separately. Well, think about it. One done. half cup of this dried blend will yield two cups yeah. of veggies. That's how I've been losing that, weight is on the dehydrated and three uh, freeze-dried foods. Yeah. Because, first of all, I don't have to go out to the store and buy, you know, the temptation of junk food and stuff. And when it's just me at the house, I can take a couple of tablespoons of this and a couple of tablespoons of that and either make up soup or I can make a, uh, what is it, a smoothie, you know. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm reading this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. This... I also got the um, broccoli soup. My husband hates broccoli cheese soup. I got one. That oh. was 20 bucks, but you know what? Well, money spent. I got something long term. This was on the internet, okay? And it was a thing that came, an ad advertisement that I saw, and it was free. You oh. just paid the shipping. It was like, oh, I think five or six dollars. Pantry, pantry. Ooh, yeah. Creamy chicken and flavored like, rice. The, and they have all long term storage. Well, they gave you a sample packet free if you would just pay the shipping. The shipping was, I believe it was six or seven dollars. Wow. So yeah. This makes four full costs each pouch. Yeah. And then here's a here's a what is this? Potato soup? Yes. How nice is that? I thought, you know, wow. I'm gonna try that. So yes, I do got long term yeah, storage. Well we'll, well, only, that one, huh? we'll only live for a day, but That's you know. right. <laughs> I I'm telling you, I use mine all the time. Maple Grove oatmeal. And I never I like heard of that. Oatmeal. It just flashed across my screen, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to check that out. Yeah. No and I thought, fine. well, you know what, Dad? Anything free is worth it. That's right. I got that Grove. I got into the Grove like that. I got the link down below in my videos. But, yeah, that Grove, um, I brought their sample kit, and then uh, for, like, 10 bucks or something like that. No, you got the sample kit free, and then you paid for the shipping, which... By the time I was done, because they kept saying, well, you could buy this for $2, this for a dollar, I ended up getting a huge box, which I did a video on, unboxing of it, and I haven't quite used it yet because I'm a bleach girl. Do you believe in bleach? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put bleach everywhere. I clean with bleach. You too. It, I'm sorry, it's got to be bleach. <laughs> that I'm, I'm yeah. old school. I want my kitchen sanitized yeah. and clean. Yep. And, my yeah. sinks, I'm, I'm just very, very... You know about that. Yeah, I, me too. Yeah, me too. This I wanted to tell him too that this, you know, it's a number ten can, but it has got forty one fourth cup servings in this. 
40 of them. Wow. And two, one half is, a two, is for two servings, and one half will yield two cups. So one quarter cup would yield one cup, and there's 40 of them in here. Yeah. So this will yield 40, oops, but yeah. one cup. That's a hell of a lot. Yeah. Heck of a lot. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> We're all growing anyway, here. We'll get more. Yeah. <laughs> whoops. Um, do you have a question for me? Okay. Uh, we already answered that. Okay. So how did you get into YouTube? I had a few of my friends that wanted to learn how to can. And they wanted to learn how to do the tomatoes. Well, when I can, I don't know about anybody else, but I don't want nobody near me. Amen, sister. I, you know, I got my routine down. I got it down to a science. I've got my assembly going. And I said, listen, I love you guys. But I don't want all you in my kitchen. So I tell you what, I'll make a video and I'll just slap it up on YouTube yep. and you can watch it. Yep, right. There you go. That was two years ago. Wow. And it's like, all of a sudden, everybody, I, and I didn't anticipate all these people to be watching it. You right. know, I, I didn't expect I, it. I, I just thought, you know, it. this is going to help my friends and keep them out of my kitchen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> while, exactly. while I'm doing right. this. So, you know, and then it went from there to, oh, show us how you make this cake or show us how you do that. And, yeah. and then pretty soon it just started growing and growing and growing and it's just become a passion. Yeah. So that, if so what that I do, would answer the last question. Tell us what you like to do for your me time. Oh, yeah, my YouTube. And, yeah, and my so that's pantry, like it's, it's, that's my passion. Yeah. I love to share what I know. Because yeah. I know there's some people out there that don't have a clue. Like, when, when we're young, yeah. we didn't have a whole lot when we were young. We had to learn. I grew up on the hill. Twenty. Well, there was 40 acres. My dad stole, t sold 20 of it, so we had 20 acres. And we lived in a tent for a year and a half. Yeah. Our outhouse was stuck between two trees and a stick, a log, and then, you know... Yeah, that's what we did. We didn't know no different. We were kids. Yeah. And we gardened, and then, um, like, your potatoes and stuff like that, we pulled out the tomato plants that still had tomatoes on it, the green tomatoes, and we had a, a I would call it a root cellar, but it wasn't um, a hole that we dug under the, under the ground. And we hung those up, and the cabbage, and that's in the like cabbage, and the, bro the Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts, we'd go out and uncover them. Yep, that's Carrots, exactly root uh, uh, bears, all that. Cellar. That yeah. is a root cellar. Yeah, that so, really is. A, you know, but it worked. And mom's canning goods was in there. I can remember her uh, canning over an open fire. Yeah, isn't that Those some crazy thing? days, eh? They might get back to that someday. But anyway, mm. yeah. And so I had to learn how to do all this. It's like I had kids to raise. I raised my kids by myself, wow. so I had to learn how to can. I. And it wasn't because I wanted to know how to do it. It was because I needed to make one meal stretch from one week yeah. to the next. I, I needed to make food stretch from one. Yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't know when my next meal was coming from exactly. or my next bit of grocery work money. in and you don't know. Yeah. So Back you in how our to do time that. when we were younger, I mean, people could, you could was a job just for looking crossways. Yeah. Especially because you're a lady. You and know. if you were a single mother with kids, they wouldn't they hire you because, oh, yeah. she's not going to be able to make it to work. Her kids are yep. going to be sick. I had to work two small jobs to make ends meet because oh, I couldn't yeah. get into the factory. Well, you got kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do got yeah. children. And I got to feed them. So yeah. don't you think I'll be. Oh, the one <laughs> guy was I'll be sober. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, well, you're a mom and your kids aren't in school yet. And I go, I got a babysitter. I got it covered. Yeah. Yeah, we've heard this before. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm like. So you learn. You have to learn. Yeah. So I, I started lying until I, I didn't have kids. And oh, yeah. Just to get in. And, you know, if my kids were sick, well, not like nowadays where when kids are sick, you know, the whole world comes to an end. Well, they went to my sister-in-law's and she babysat them or, you know, whoever I had babysitting. and Yeah. They just did it. That's how and, they did and it. They were fine. Yeah, they yeah. lived through it. They, they honestly got, they got taken it. care of still. And we had food on the table. Mm -hmm. Like you, I was the same way. Um, potatoes, uh, my kids hate pancakes now and macaroni and cheese because they grew, you know, there was a meal. Oh, my son hates chicken because we ate so much so chicken. Much. Chicken was cheap. Chicken still this day is cheap. Yeah. It was so cheap back then. I think we lived out like during the Depression. It was oatmeal. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it was chicken, and my well, son can't stand chicken. Oh, I uh, mine mine don't like the macaroni and cheese, and um, you know they love bacon, but you know 
they can, my, our family come from farmers, so, and I knew a lot of farmers, and I, I started, I dropped the one job, and then I got into doing daycare, because I couldn't afford daycare when I moved into the Alta house, and um, I'm like, wow, I ended up making more money doing daycare, so I ended up just having the one part-time job, and I did daycare for nine years, and that yeah. supported our family quite well, and yeah, and then now I, I just, I, I don't mind having kids around, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's why I got into YouTube so that I could, you know, hopefully somebody, hopefully some, if I even touch one person out there and help them, mm -hmm. it's worth every bit of it. I got into YouTube, and I've said this to my channel like a lot. Yeah, my but, channel wants to know. Yeah, I got into it because um, cancer runs strong in our family, and I always thought that. If I'm not around, I want my kids to see how I cook. Yeah. And um, my recipes or how I make bread so that when I'm gone and they miss me, they can go to my channel and see me. Yeah. Yep. It's there forever. Yeah. You know, and that's just what in my theory, and it's still like that today. I will not post a video just because to get, you know, subs and all that. No, yeah. I post my videos for my family and now my YouTube friends. I include my grandkids in a lot of my videos because yeah. I teach them, and they're little hams. I love her videos. They, they you, have. You got to check out her channel again. Her channel oh. is Little Village Homestead. You know why I have to keep looking that up? Couldn't you just say Renee's Pantry? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made mine easy. Angie's Pantry. <laughs> but I put my my grandkids in there because uh, I'm teaching them everything, and. They do real good. Sometimes they fight. I mean, yeah. they're kids, yeah, they're you kids. know, but they're not going to forget this. Mm -hmm. And this is beautiful memories that we're making. And they can look back on this when they're older and say, look at my grandma did for me. I have to do this for my grandchildren. Yep. You know? Yep. I think that's an awesome thing. Oh, yeah. I love it. I, um, my one granddaughter, uh, when she comes over, I try to do something fun with her, too. It's just, you got to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, take time out. Yep. Exactly. Pretty much. Because they grow up really fast. Yeah. All right. Have, okay. I think. Oh. Have you thought about making a cookbook? I, I, I'm currently working on one. But I did do a cookbook on uh, sweets. You know, the desserts. Ooh. And that, that's even got, my grandmother was uh, German. And she come from Vienna. And she was just a tiny little thing, probably four foot eleven, maybe. <laughs> and that's, you know, on the tall side. But anyway, she used to make the good Viennese strudel and all her little German um, cookies and, and her desserts. And so my I put a cookbook together, and it's got some of my modern recipes, and then it's got my old family recipes. Oh, clear back from my grandmother. Her real Viennese strudels in there. Oh, wow. And then she's got the, uh, I've got, <laughs> he's tiptoeing. And then I got the, um, she used to fill hers with poppy seed filling and a really, oh my God, a cottage cheese filling that's just out of this world. Mm. So I included all that. And yes, I put it together. So it, it goes from clear back from my grandmother's um, sponge cake from 1929, Ooh. clear up to now. Uh, it is. Now, yep. And it's called Little Village Homestead. Sweets, treats, and yummy eats. So and I it's, will. It's on blurb.com. Blurb. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, post a link. link. I'll, I'll give post you a, link. a link to at the bottom of my video there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I always thought about doing one, but you know, yeah, I just don't. And I'm I got books and books. And yeah, books. I love cookbooks, and I'm working on one now. And uh, it, though it's moving slow. Um, I'm working on one for uh, dinners, and I haven't even named it yet, in fact. I'm just wow. starting to put, you know, meals together and get, I'm going through all my old recipes yeah, and stuff. Fun. And I've got a lot of stuff from my grandmothers and my mother and my aunts. And You're like me, I cherish those recipes. Oh, my, my mother goodness. passed away early of uh, breast cancer, and so did my sister. But, um, yeah, it's, they were both really good. My mom could make me a lot of roadkill if we had it, you know. <laughs> oh, my family cooks like that. <laughs> and they, she keeps recipes like I do. Um, like, you know, like if you're making a chocolate cake, you write down, um, you know, uh, you know, the cocoa and certain kind of flour, egg, milk, and whatever. But 
no she measurements. Just, no, because <laughs> we know how to do it. That's because they always had it. Yeah, my grandma was like that. Well, I can figure it out. And she yeah. never measured. My grandmother would never measure anything. Mine was, I, yeah. and I still do it to this day. Yep. Measure with the hands. So do I. Yeah. And I oh, would. I watched her make her potato salad. So good, and she yeah, made a wonderful been. apple or uh, cherry chicken salad. I'm chicken sorry. salad. And my, I got a potato salad video. That same stuff that I made today is oh, on a video. It's wonderful. If, if, go check it out. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah, it is good. But so, yeah, I do got that cookbook. That's wonderful. That's awesome. And that's fun, and that's a little bit of my heart. Yeah, that's exactly what a cookbook is. Okay, um, I think, so if, if you can and dehydrate, what is your fav, favorite thing to do either either way? So what is your favorite? What is your favorite thing to can or do you favorite, like to dehydrate best? Mm -hmm. I like doing both, but my favorite thing to can is tomatoes. Oh yeah. I love to do stewed tomatoes, anything with tomatoes, tomato sauce, uh, spaghetti sauces. I just love it because my family eats so much of it, but oh, I yeah. love it. But to dehydrate, my favorite thing to dehydrate would have to be peppers and green beans oh, and, yeah. and peas. I do a, uh, what is it here, a mixed vegetables. Yeah, that looks awesome. And that's awesome. funny because, you know, when I, um, I'll buy freezer veggies. Can you see? Yeah, they're all in there. Okay. That's a regular. Can you show mine? Uh, I don't know if I can get up, but I'll try to. You can see. I'll tell you where that comes from. That's, uh. It's got um, corn, it's got everything, it's a mix of everything. Oh yeah, it's mixed vegetables. It was from a frozen veggies. You know, oh, like, that's how I do mine. Like you buy your bag of frozen veggies Gordon instead Foods. of fr putting it back in my freezer. If I use a cup or whatever, or half of it, I don't put it back in the freezer. I just dehydrate it and throw it I in the I just jar. threw out um, a big, huge bag of corn out of my freezer. Um, blueberries, and I could kick myself in the butt for it because I couldn't make it downstairs, you know. But, um, so my husband brought it up and he's like, there's corn, we got to use it up. I opened it up and it was freezer burnt so bad. There was no saving it. Yeah. But yeah, usually I do the same thing. If it's open, I'll throw it in a dehydrator so I have it. Yeah, because you know? once you open them, they freezer burn fast. Oh, horrible. Yeah, and it, it doesn't even matter if you have it in the Ziploc bag or whatever. You almost would have to use a uh, food saver, yeah. you know, vacuum pack. So... I avoid all that because I'm not gonna go through all that and waste all those bags for a cup of. I just dry it. Right. Oh, it the um, she showed me something very interesting. <coughs> Orange powder, right? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And what was the other one that smelled so good? Oh, that, that was. Green, like, I'm gonna give you. I'm sending home some of this stuff too. I'm excited. The it's wild leek powder. I know. I have a. Okay, so she took just the orange peel, not the, the white. Zest. zest. The orange zest. Zest. And then she dehydrated it, and then she uh, ground it, correct? Yep. And I dehydrate it, and then I left it in a jar, just dehydrated, until I had a plenty, and then I just kept filling my jar, and that's how it is. That is so, what an awesome idea. But you buy that stuff, it's ungodly expensive. Wow. It's like you can't even afford but I love to use that for like buttercream frostings, or you can even use that for a tea. Oh, you, yeah. Because it's zest. Anything yeah. you would use orange zest in, or even lemon zest, you can use that in. Wow. It's fantastic. That's awesome. And I'll make sure I send you some. Awesome. And this, we won't shake it. No. Last time she shook it, it was, yeah, and I kept it away. She warned me. No, that's called leeks. Leeks. Wild leeks. Now, she does have a video. Uh, do you still have that on your opening? Yep. Uh, it smells <laughs> wonderful. It's and just a leak awesome. up here. I don't know how, mm -hmm. where, how. I don't know the growing radius of leaks. I mean, I don't know how, how where all they all grow, but up here, um, they call them ramps, leeks, bear's garlic, or wild onions. Mm -hmm. there's, what, there's oh, all is that the things I call chives? I think so, because they smell like garlic. Yeah, chives. They, they smell garlicky, like onion and garlic mixed. And they are fantastic, and you can use, you just pick it, you can use the leaves, the stem, and the bulb, the onion bulb on the end. You can grind it all up, it's all edible. So when, when I dehydrate it, 
I ground it. My friend came over, and that that video is a visit to the woods. Okay. Oh, I, that's the one I got. And to. I that's showed I you. Yeah. yeah. And I showed how. And I show you just what they look like. Yeah. And I pull them off. Now, see what I call chives is the little long stem things out there. Nope, that's oh, not. That's not. Please, then. Movie recording has been stopped automatically. The maximum recording time has been reached. Oops. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is it Sorry about again? that. Uh -huh. I guess my video can only record for so amount of time. Sorry for you got to see all the bad part of me. Hope you oh, you're out. fine. Oh, you're hope fine. she cuts that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had such a wonderful time here. Um, I'm just so amazed at how much we're alike. Yeah. Our canning, cooking ways, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it's fun. And it's so nice and to meet fun other to channels and stuff. But sometimes, you know, you kind of worry about it, but ah, she's safe. I, I, I didn't, I told her I wasn't going to tire and keep her in a basement. My husband said they'd send me back. <laughs> <laughs> my husband says if anybody ever kidnaps me, don't worry, they'll send you back in yeah. a week. Yeah, look at tired you know. But anyway, I do got a couple. I want you to tell my channel. She <laughs> brought me, well, I did, I went through this with these vegetables. This was a gift from Angie. And um, these are wonderful. And I just thank you so much. You're welcome. Because every time I use that, I'll think of you, sweetheart. Thank you. And she also, she sells Dipalicious. You might yeah. want to put, put that up there. Dipalicious. Dip yep, Dipalicious. And tell them a, a little bit about that because I'm going to put a link to your delicious. Yep, in okay. the bottom of my video. So, like, um, I think one of these, this is a creamy BLT dip, and it's a savory dip. It's like $3.99. Yeah, you can make a lot out of that. Yeah, and if you want to be a consultant, or demo, demo I guess is what they call it. I call it consultant. So let's say you went to my site and you joined up underneath me, which I've had a quite a few people do. Yeah. It costs like nine dollars. You can join it for free, but for like ten dollars, you'll get extra dips. And then you have your link, right? Because then you'll get a link. Yeah. And then you use your dips. You use your product, and you can even you make videos. videos. If you yeah. Got videos showing. Yeah. Too. And they always say, you know, my check my. Uh, information below and I have people order it so when they order you get your product free well you know pretty much because instead of getting a paycheck I use it turn around and go back to get product to get product for yeah me. that's nice yeah and it's uh, well like hearty meatloaf seasoning it smells wonderful I've used this in with my um, brown chicken and bacon that mm -hmm. I've mixed together and put that in there you know what I'm gonna do with that what I'm going to do a video because I'm going to do meatloaf burgers. Whoa. Now, when you make your meatloaf, do you do, um, I, I'll take a box of uh, stuffing. Yep, exactly. Yep. Isn't that the Egg. greatest thing? <laughs> I know, I love it. It is so easy. The stovetop stuffing. Or it doesn't even have to be stovetop. No. Even the generic it's a brand. I use the cheap kind. Yeah. And I always use the sage. I love the sage. Oh, yeah. The sage is my favorite. I know. Mine, too. <sighs> Love it. Yep, See, I use that. Like two peas in a pod, like, just saying. But I am. I'm going to do some videos on um, making this. The desserts are a little bit more. I think they're like six ninety nine. Yeah. Is that but, just like a seasoning blend for the pe? That one's for pecan pie, right? Yeah. This is a southern pecan pie dessert, and this one it says you just. I think it's like um, cream a, cheese. Oh no, hot water, soft cream cheese, and then blend it until smooth. Fold into um, whipped topping. And then put it in your pie, pie shell. Pie shell. But when I did it, I took um, pecans and put it over the top. Ooh. Oh, it was so good. And I did caramel in the bottom of the shell, or you know, caramel first on the bottom. And then I made this, and then um, I did not put the pecans in it the second, the first time. But on the top, I did the pecans, and I also added a little bit of English toffee, just a couple sprinkles, so you had that yum. Yeah, that would be good. But that when you do good. get them. The savory will overpower your uh, dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it gives you all the directions right on here. Yeah, on the back. It tells you what to do. 
um, what was that? Oh, the pretty cheesy stuffed avocado this can, or artichoke dip. Oh, wait a minute. This this says it can also be used, or also be eaten as a dip with fresh fruit or cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I just think of that as a dip with the cream cheese in it. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I did. The creamy BLT dip. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That's good. And I also just used this on chicken for like a rub. Oh, yeah. That'd be it was good. really good. Good, good. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. I know. I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to do it. videos on them so that oh, everybody that'd be can awesome. see, you know. Yeah, that'd be so cool. But if you're interested in dip delicious, you don't have to bake and sell them, but, you know, why not get paid for what you buy your own dips? Yeah. Because you get it, you know, okay, so I don't get a discount, but, yeah, I get paid for that. Hmm. Yeah. I think I do get a discount, to be honest. I'm not sure. It's, I've been in it for so many years, I don't know. Huh. You have to check it out. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, it's not like it's that much anyways. I think I only pay like two fifty, so maybe it is a discount, a little bit. But then I turn around and get paid for it, so bonus. <laughs> and these jars are awesome. I I love them. It's the, the share, they're called sharing jars, and I had to give her a case of them, a little package of them. How beautiful these are. And I don't know if they can see that, but you buy these jars. It says Feeding America, help donate four meals. For every package of sharing jars purchased, Noel Brands will donate four meals. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. That's like, um, I buy stuff oh, like the, this. This was, yeah, but this was way back when, when Ball was Ball. Yeah. Oh. Well, ball is not Ball anymore. Oh, it's not? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, I know that I buy, when they say they're going to donate to the hungry yeah, or I'll do that. help yeah. stuff or, or breast cancer yeah. or just like your Dawn dish soap. I know people make their own dish soap. I don't make my own yeah. dish soap. I make my own laundry soap and everything else, and I'm perfectly content with that because yeah. it works beautiful. But when it comes to my dishes, I'm real brand loyal to Dawn. Yeah. Me too. Me and too. I always buy the one that for every bottle you buy, a dollar gets donated to the little animals. Yeah, when, I, well, I know. Because I am an animal lover, though I don't, you know, I tell people, and I tease people, I don't own anything that poos. Yeah, <laughs> but, I don't blame them. <laughs> I got two lefties that poo every day. <laughs> but I don't, um, I don't not like animals. I just, and I'll support them. Right. You know, and that's how I support them. Right. That's, Which is awesome. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. So, okay, y'all know I got the Excalibur. Well, you don't. Your channel don't, unless you know me. So we but are check looking. her out. If you don't, Angie's Pantry. And I'll put a link to her channel in my description box. You all got to see this woman's dehydrator. Oh, oh they've seen it many times. Oh, my, my channel has it, though. Oh, my. I oh, my. love it. This was one like my mother had, and they work. Like, this was no like, a, 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 you know where I got this? Where? My husband's mother had it brand new, never been used. She had it, it was 10 years ago, 10 or 11 years ago. It was still new in the box, stuffed it. in her attic. Wow. Never been used. My Didn't mom had her like that. We used it all the time. Oh, I yeah, she it. Get, well, I still got, look at that, I still got my, uh. Eggplant. Eggplant. And it's all dried. I just got to put it oh. away. Oh, yeah. That's it's what I do. I think it's been yeah. on there for a couple days. I know. Anyway, she gave it is. to me. I and then I, I, and did I show you this? And it dries fast, don't it? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, very fast. And not only does it dry fast, it dries and keeps the color. See, the color is very That's because it does that. Hi, honey. This is her granddaughter. What Sadie. It? Uh, Sadie. Say Sadie. hi. Say hi, friends. She's awful shy. <laughs> but the broccoli She's, keeps the color. The reason you're, when you're dehydrator, if you're dehydrated or can't keep up, the coloration will, you know, it will take out the color of your, whatever you're dehydrating. Yeah. That's just, you know, because it yeah, keeps that, long. My, my uh, new one does. I'm so partial to this one. Oh, yeah. I, I think I I'll found cry when, when this one goes to heaven. Uh, I, I did. This. I did. And my husband's like... He broke down and he got me the Excalibur. Oh, and that, does and that dry stuff and keep the color yeah, in Yeah, it? it does. It dries fast. I like it. It took me forever to really say I liked it, but I do. I do like it. But it's so heavy. Yeah. It's, it's big. It's oh, I didn't do it. Crash and smash. Oops. Sorry. That yeah. happens in my pantry all the time. Every time I turn around, my butt knocks something over. Yeah, Either really Tupperware cool. balls or something. <laughs> I got it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was just saying that, uh, oh, with the, I told you guys about doing the breads and stuff. If you want to make a savory bread, 
I wonder what that would be like if you put that in white bread. Oh, I bet it would be fantastic. I'm gonna have to try. I got. I brought two cans. I I thought. Oh, I'll give her a can and I'll keep a can and try yeah. it. And you know when I do my homemade um, spinach dip. Yeah. I use these, and the, these are, I, I mean, that's my not, favorite brand. They're not crazy expensive, but they're good. Yeah. And they're good for that, but you could just use a scoop of that. Yeah, but that doesn't have spinach in it. This only has uh, cabbage. No, you don't, this doesn't have spinach in it either. You gotta add the spinach to it. Oh, what is this? This is just the vegetable mix. Oh, it doesn't have it comes the... like a, it's like a vegetable soup mix with some oh, spices. Oh, yes, I, I know I use it. I didn't know it. Oh, yeah. that's right, because you have to put the frozen spinach mm -hmm. in it. Sometimes I'm special. I'm sorry. I don't know <laughs> but you could use. Yeah, because it's got potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, cabbage. Oh, look at that. Cabbage is in here. Tomato too. powder, yep. onion powder. Well, this is. And, and that green would be just peas. your. That would be just your. Uh, you could almost use this. Yeah. Throw in some and that would peas. be the powdered uh, spices. You just use your own spices and. I bet it would be beautiful. It would be fantastic. Great idea. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. I've had a blast. And it's awesome finally get to meet her. We were supposed to go to Mississippi together, but she had Ill, uh, illness in the family, yeah. so we couldn't go. Yeah. She couldn't go with us, but yeah. yeah. I had a blast. I'm, I'm glad you came. I am. So, I looked forward to this all week long. I did too. And we kept it quiet. I don't know about you, but I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell you guys. Nope, I didn't, I didn't tell anybody you were coming. Because I wanted it to be a surprise. Yep. And I'm going to put in here a uh, mushroom. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to. Yep. Oh, I can't because. I'm gonna, but I'll put a link to the video because my friends, we did a vi we we got us on a video out in the woods doing a little yeah. bit of mushroom hunt. And we show you mushrooms too. So. I don't have that on my I have some camera. pictures we could share to you, though. Yeah, you could share the pictures to me, but I will put a link to your video. Okay, and vice up. versa. You'll get a link to her video, so you can go check out her channel. Yeah, and vice versa. Yeah. And vice versa let me too. tell you, the next time, we're, we, it, it might be, maybe we should keep it a surprise. I don't know. But yeah. one of these times, we're going to do a bulk food run. Yeah. And that'll be, uh, that'll awesome. be really awesome to share. Yeah. Oh, I know. It'll be so much fun. Yeah. Oh, it's so dry in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that dry. It's that dry. Too. That's because we're long winded. I know. We've been talking, talking your four <laughs> ears off. And I just want to say to my channel, big hugs. And thank you for taking the time out to meet Renee and uh, her channel or Andrew, yeah. her family. And thank you. Thank you for allowing me. And come visit my channel. Yeah. There might be something on there you might like. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye. And my friends... I'm going to put a link to her channel. Thank you so much for coming. We had a blast. Check out her channel. You'll love it. It's absolutely amazing. So make sure you put in the comment where you can, if you come over from her channel so that I know so I can make sure I can keep track of that too. Oh, yeah. That'd yeah. be awesome. So all right, friends. Until next time, thank you. Bye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't know I had a... Uh...